Welcome to Miami-Dade College Learning Resources. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create and record a presentation using Canva. The objectives for today are to log in and create a Canva account, to produce presentation slides, identify toolbar elements, edit design elements, record your presentation, and finally, download and share your final product. To begin, go to www.canva.com. Click on sign up to create an account. If you have a Google account, you can sign in with Google. If not, you can click on continue another way or sign up with your work email. For this tutorial, we will log in using our Google account. Once you log in, click on Presentations. Then, select Talking Presentation. Under Design, you can select from a variety of available templates, which you can edit in Canva. You can also start from scratch. For this presentation, let's select an existing template to edit. Notice how each template contains related slides that you can add to your presentation. Click on the plus sign to add additional slides. You can click on the plus sign to add a blank slide to your presentation. Or, you can drag additional slides from the selected template on the design menu. By clicking on the three dots menu on each page, you can do the following. Add page titles to a slide. Add a blank page. Duplicate a page. Delete a page or hide a page. You can also enter notes under each of your slides. Slides or pages in Canva are composed of many elements, such as text, images, and backgrounds. You can select individual elements to edit and make changes as needed. Please note that menu options change based on the type of element you select. For example, let's select one of the graphics in the background and click on Edit Image. Canva provides you with several options to edit, change the color, and apply a variety of filters to images and other types graphic elements. Also, by selecting an element, such as the main graphic on this slide, a menu pops up. It allows you to duplicate, delete, or open additional options too. Copy an element. Or, copy the style from one element to another element. Paste an element. Duplicate. Delete. You can also enter comments. Or insert a hyperlink to an external source such as a website. This menu also allows you to align the element you selected on your page. Let's explore how to edit text. You can change the font, text style, and font size. Also, you can change the text color. Underline. Switch from upper to lower case text. You can align your text. Insert bullet or numbered lists. Change letter spacing and line spacing. And as we showed you before, we can apply effects. Animations. and change the text position in relationship to the page. To copy the style of an element on your slide, select the element you'd like to copy the style from. Click on the Copy Style menu icon. Then, click on the element you'd like to copy the style to. Under Elements, 
you can select from a variety of graphics, photos, videos, and shapes to add to your presentation. Take your time to explore and search for all that is available. You can drag any of the items to your slide. Under Uploads, you can select the files to upload from your computer to Canva, such as your own images, videos, and audio. You can also drag them from your computer folder to the Uploads tab. Under Text, you can add a text box, add a heading, a subheading, or just a regular body of text. You can also click under Draw. Draw allows you to highlight a point in your presentation or add a custom graphic to your story. Under Projects, you can find your previous designs and those projects shared with you to collaborate with peers. Click on Photos to add images and videos to your presentation. You can also search for images and videos by subject based on the topic of your project or assignment. Simply drag and drop images and videos to your slides. Now, it is time to record our presentation. Click on, go to Recording Studio. Follow Canvas instructions to set up your camera and microphone. Click on, Start Recording. Prepare ahead of time to facilitate the recording process, you can always practice with your peers. You can pause during the recording of your presentation. Notice you can navigate from one slide to the next during the recording process. When you are finished recording, click on End Recording. Canva will upload your recording. Once the recording is uploaded, a window will pop up. You can share a link to view your presentation with your professor or peers. Or, you can download a recording of your presentation, remember that your work will be saved with your projects in Canva.